Now we're gonna do Mere Madness Tilt Slam Bam. Though I think it's still gonna give me that cutscene from the beginning. Yeah. Alert, alert, look. <laughs> Curled up could endanger the egg. Still not gonna tell me how, considering it's not on the egg, it's on the tower. That is on the far side of the beach. Spray dive. Be aware of all the birdies. The alternative way to get this one is by using the turbo nozzle hidden somewhere on the island. I thought I wasn't going to make it because I was messing up on it. Now there is... I know I should be dealing with the mirrors, but there are just so many other things to get to. So the idea is that you tilt the mirror, you spray the bird bug things. And then you slam butt on the mirror to launch the bird bug things off. Trying to remember where the rocket nozzle is located. On Mia's with multiple, when you spray one, it actually causes the other to start charging at you. You can counter this by spraying them both, and you can launch multiple. Excellent, only one more area remains. Hey there, Levy. Um, it's been going okay. I did a couple of shines in Rico Harbor, meaning that all I have to do there is just the secret shines. I've done the secret shines here in Gelato Beach, and I'm about to get another. I've been holding off my adventures to Serena Beach until you showed up, so that I had someone with me going through my favorite stage in Mario Sunshine.
think. I knew it. We started this episode off with third or episode. This stream, I get my YouTube and my Twitch terminologies backwards all the time. We started this stream with 34 shines and we're already at 44 and we've only been at it for an hour. I do have to go about five minutes over my regular stream time though, for sure. Uh, because one of my fluffy babies ended up pouting so loudly, I actually had to do something about it. Instead of them just taking a little nap. And that took me about five minutes. Wiggler ahoy, full steam ahead. Peyton should be joining us in chat this morning. Um, hopefully he remembers to come join. Oh, maybe I... Hold on. Before we get fully invested in this. I almost absolutely forgot about her. Okay. Yes, I'm in. I'm really wholeheartedly ready to explain that once we get to Serena Beach. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to trip up Wiggler by spraying the Doom Buds. And then you are given one of his body parts to slam butt. And then he flees or runs around and gets crazier. Find which Doom Buds he's running around. That one. I actually thought I messed that up. It is always random which appendage it hits. And now we have him on full rage mode. I don't want to use that one. Okay, so no matter what, he's gonna end up in the water. Okay. 
And we've taken down Wiggler. Ooh, I see a blue coin. positive there's more blue coins in one of these trees. I love the serene silence you get from completing a boss stage. Come on. And I'm off. Uh. I knew it. I don't think either of those ones have blue coins in them. Okay. I was positive I saw some blue coins in the water earlier, but I might have been wrong. Next shine. And now I'm out of water. Who is my favorite boss character in the Mario games? Can be from anyone. Hmm. That one is tricky, because there are so many bosses, like, so many. In the 2D games, I have to say, I think it has to be the Mummy Pokey. From Mario, New Super Mario Bros for the original DS. Um, and it's because you don't really... Pineapple. Ah, uh, there's a pineapple in the fountain down below. You don't really get to see many variations of uh, bosses ever since Super Mario Bro New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which saw the return of the Koopalings. You don't really get a lot of the original cast members. You don't get to see a lot of the original bosses that you did in earlier titles. They chose to go with um, the Koopalings instead. And not that that's a bad thing. Koopalings could be the mini bosses instead of Boom Boom. And now we're going to Serena Beach. Come on. Fine. Yoshi didn't want to go in? Fine. Um, but I have to say the Manta Storm is actually a unique one. Of course, I'll get into other ones first. Um, what other really amazing bosses are there? Dino Piranha is basic. The Fiery Dino Piranha is pretty unique. Um, Mecha Wiggler is actually a really cool boss in Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, Stuart is pretty interesting in Mario Odyssey as well, because you don't get to see a lot of bosses that just vomit. Let's see. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, 
I think that's it. I don't think there is any blue coins. Maybe from the sign. Really? No? Maybe there are no blue coins on this first stage. Um, yeah, I'm just rambling ideas. Um, but I guess I'll get on to why I think Manta Storm is a pretty unique boss. Um, and it all comes down to Stephen King's The Shining. Oh, the horror, the beautiful be building sunk. You can't just sit back and it's coming back, the gossamer. I'm on the wrong nozzle. Okay. I am clearly letting myself get ahead. So, the Phantom Storm is a unique boss in that it will constantly divide as you spray it with water. Constantly shrinking. So the idea of this boss is that you're supposed to spray them smaller and smaller and then when all there is, that's interesting, he was pretty far away from me. When all there is left is the smallest mantas, that's when things start to get really, really fun. find myself that. Okay, we are now on the fun part. They are now going to be coming towards me as opposed to just moving around in random circuits. I 
And then the best way to approach it is by spinning, spin spray. Or by using the the shotgun spray. Okay, I need to find more coins. Another way... Oh no. Get into the water. Another way you can approach this stage is by leading them towards the ocean. And there was only like one or two left. So this is just one of the reasons why I liked Serena Beach. When I was a kid, I actually could not complete this first stage for, I'd say a month. I'd keep trying and trying and I could not figure out a strategy that actually saw victory. And it's because I always got overwhelmed with how many of the small uh, manta rays there were. I have no more juice. I'm sad. Um. I'd get overwhelmed, and then by the time I was trying to figure out how to defeat all the purple ones, I'd end up hiding underneath the cabana trying to figure out how to get them sprayed. With that one complete, let's move on to the next Serena Beach stage. Or Serena. Um, Serena, I believe, is Italian for the sunset. I think. There's so many Italian words to know. I was incorrect, by the way, last week on what Pinna Park was all about. I thought Pinna was Italian for pineapple, and it is not. Listen, I uh, have a feeling you can help me out again. See the hotel? It's well, it's full of it's full of ghosts. So, well, could you maybe look? Just come inside, please. I can tell you're a miracle worker. Don't be so modest. So, this stage is all about ascending the hotel without using stairs. Actually, while I'm at it... Unlike previous uh, Mario Boos, where you had to slam butt the boo or do something uh, with light, you're able to just stomp on these boos. Isle Delfino boos, the weakest of them all. But they're also goopy. I only remembered that one because of weird circumstances. Into the idol. This requires some precise platforming. 
Of which I am terrible at. As previously exhibited on other levels this stream. Never got back to the connection between the shining. Oh, um. There was a reason every time I hear about the Manta Ray, everybody's always like, it's connected to the Shining. I'm going to have to actually look it up. Um, maybe when I'm not in a stage of sinking sand. Um, it is partially that Serena Beach is a hotel filled with ghosts. And I think Manta Storm is supposed to be a uh, phantom. Again, give me a few minutes to actually look up the connection because every time I get to Serena Beach, I am instantly always brought back to information about it being uh, uh, similar to The Shining. About a month, so I'm trying to remember. It was during the summer, and I was I started the level playing at my grandmother's house, and then I finished it at home. <laughs> 